All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kurash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name and his only begotten son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. Also, want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. Also, want to give a Shalom to our sincere brothers that's, brothers that's pushing, teaching the truth worldwide. And Shalom to you sincere listeners and you sincere believers. All right. Here with a topic concerning slavery reparations. You know, this topic continues to be brought up. All right. Especially by the heathen nations, those that are outside the temple, those that are. That are Everyone except you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans who are truly Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible. All right. The heathen nations continue to bring this, especially the so-called white nation being Esau, Edom, their true biblical identity. All right. This topic continues to come up because of the guilt. All right. That these nations feel, man. All right. And the, and the lack of their accountability that they want to uh, uphold to themselves. Okay. So I come across this article. It was, this was also well, this was truly shared. All right, from the uh, from Guardian.com, okay, and this is um, a fairer way to pay slavery reparations, okay, and I think uh, this is by uh, John Cookson, and he says only those who ancestors gained from slavery should be responsible for reparations. When when slavery was composed, about millions millions of slaves were involved, okay, hundreds of millions at that. It's no way to uh, nitpick and, and account for the number Hey it's, a, it's, a, it's as a collective group Alright it's as a nation Okay Not individually but as a nation Okay It has to involve a nation man It says, says those only Says only those Whose ancestors gain from slavery Should be responsible for, for reparations Alright so let's see those And this picture is from the 19th century of uh, Like it says engraving of slaves Unloading blocks of ice Okay, we understand in this in this in this topic of reparations continue to be brought up because the head start that the heathen nations got because of the uh the workload that was produced by the Israelites. And we understand spiritually that this was all because of our disobedience to our power. So the Lord put curses upon the upon you Negroes, Latinos, and you and you Native Americans. Uh and this and that's the reason why we're in this predicament that we're in right now to this very day. But the thing about it, and according to the Bible, and the good news, and the good news is that this is not the end all be all. The Lord is going to reward the the entire nation, all right, because He loves the children of Israel. We are the we are the Lord's people, all right. We are His children, okay. Even though He created all these nations, we are the chosen, according to the Bible, okay. And Bible prophecy is is soon to show that, all right. <clears throat> and one act in one way will be. By the uh, reparations of slaves, okay, reparations of of servants, okay. But continuing on with the article, it says the initiative by the Trevelyan family to pay reparations is, is very laudable and welcome. British slave owners' family say, "Oh, she like it." British slave owners' family makes public apology in Granada of February twenty seventh. They directly benefited from slavery, so this is appropriate. So the, you got you will have. People that are say, "Oh, we benefited. Oh, we didn't benefit." No, this is a, a, as a collective group worldwide. Okay, people try to try to run from judgment, man. Try to run from accountability. Try to run from responsibility. All right, judgment is on the horizon, man. All right, but I'm, I'm gonna continue with the article. Then, uh, of course, I'll provide uh, scriptures to back up the point. It says the government also like it. It says they directly benefited from slavery, so this is appropriate. I have serious reservations about reparations being paid by me. The government paying reparations mean that by that my taxes would be used. See, <laughs> my answers gain nothing from slavery. So John Cookson is saying, oh, I didn't gain. You know, we didn't gain from slavery. He's, he's actually saying his people worked in mills and factories. And it says what? In the most appalling conditions and were housed in sanitary, dangerous, and unhealthy accommodations with a record of disease and deprivation among the worst in Europe. All right, he says, anyone who doubts that can read the Ingalls 1845 book, The Condition of the Working Class in England. Well, 
you know, news alert, man. According to the curses, truly the Israelites, let's get that, the Israelites were scattered worldwide. All right, due to the curses that the Lord put upon us, man. The Israelites were scattered worldwide. If you read Deuteronomy, so there were slaves in, in all the different lands that, that you can even think of in today's time, okay? Even even in England, okay? So this is Deuteronomy chapter 20. Not to say that his people weren't in those conditions or whatever the case may be, but the Israelites, this is just to prove that Israelites were scattered worldwide, okay? So we're catching we're catching hell from every angle of the earth. All right. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Okay. So there are Israelites among the Asians. There are Israelites among Africans. There's a there's Israelites among you Edomites, okay? That may take on your appearance, but truly within the inner spirit, be an Israelite. Okay. It says the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, and from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there there shalt thou serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone so the lord the lord ultimately the lord did these things okay but the thing about it was making it was making these um these reparations talks worse is that these heathen nations don't want take any accountability they won't admit they won't submit to these to these uh to the facts to the truth you know it says i'm gonna read this last part concerning you know john cookson all right, it says if reparations are to be paid, a tax on the aristocrats and fat cats whose ancestors profited from slavery would be the only just solution. And I want to say the only just solution would be servants, would be slaves, according to the Bible, according to what the Lord says, man. All right, let's get that with Second Thessalonians chapter chapter one verse six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And who were troubled? The Israelites, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans. All right? Wake up to the fact that you have an enemy. Wake up to the fact that the Lord is with you. That the Lord is with us. All right? Wake up to the fact that we, we are the chosen, man. Wake up to the fact, according to Bible prophecy, that you will have slaves. That you will have servants. All right? This is all up to the Lord. This is not. We're not going to take things to our own hand because Esau Edom would just try to make this an emotional thing. They would try to attempt to make this a black thing, and that's just not simply the case. All right, this is this is all thus saith the Bible. This is all thus saith the Lord. Okay, this is all backed by scriptural evidence. Now, whether you believe in the Bible, that's on you. All right, this is Romans chapter twelve verse nineteen. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves. Okay, so we won't take the Lord just told us avenge not ourselves. We're not we're not here to take things to our own hands, bear up arms. That's just not that's not what the Lord commanded for the for the the men of the Lord, the worshippers and the servants that to, for us to do. He we he simply uh, ordained us and commanded us to what fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and keep His commandments. All right. And this was spreading the truth and teaching the truth as being one of those commandments. All right. It says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. So at the end of the day, we know the we know what's coming. All right. Talking about it's a fairer way to pay rep, to pay slavery reparations. No, man. The 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 way it is going to be paid is by slavery. <laughs> it the slavery is just going to be reversed. That's the thing about it. That's the good news. And we say this we say this with a smile on our face, man. All right? Because we know this is not the end all be all for us. Us continue to be getting worked to death, stressed to death, all right? Taxed to death, all right? Every every angle we're we're being we're being irritated and vexed. However way you want to put it, man. All right? To this very day. To this day. All right? <laughs> so, uh even even if someone is getting uh, millions or thousands of dollars The, the so called white man is going to make it known Who's the oppressor And who's the ruler of today's society He's going to he's been, he's going to make it known Alright So uh, let me grab Revelation chapter 13 classic Alright in the a, in a scriptural Proof that this will be This will happen for the Israelites Okay this is Revelation chapter 13 Verse 9 if any man have an ear, let him hear. So if you have a, a, uh, any logical or spiritual, uh, you know, uh, sense about yourself, man, hey, understand this. All right, if the Lord's opened, if hey, if, you, if the Lord opened up your your mind and your eyes and your spirit to to understand. All right, understand this here. Revelation chapter thirteen, verse ten. 
He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. What is captivity? Slavery. Okay. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So those that those nations that led us into slavery, not those individuals, but nation. All right. Because the, the Esau, when you when you come across Edomites and you come across these different heathen nations, they like to act as they had no part in it. All right. But I'm gonna grab that as well in Isaiah chapter 14. It says, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of these saints. And who are the upright ones? Who are the righteous ones? Who are the saints? All right. The Israelites. Okay. The children of Israel, which makes up you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans, according to Bible prophecy. All right. And especially after reading Deuteronomy chapter 28, as you read one of those verses in the, in the 64th verse, man. Being scattered worldwide, all right, all over the earth, do, via the be it via slave ships, via the slave trade, all right. We're we're scattered everywhere, and it's all and that was all the Lord's will, okay. But it's also the Lord's will to repay the Israelites to recompense his his children with servants and slaves. That's that's what's about to happen, okay. So yeah, here's the patience and the faith of the saints, all right. So I wanted to grab Isaiah. Isaiah, yeah, Isaiah 14. That's what I that's what I want. Isaiah chapter 14. Okay. So this is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Now, you know what I also want to grab? Let me pull this up. Zechariah chapter 11. Because these heathen nations, our oppressors, don't won't even like to admit that they're actually the oppressors. When it's very obvious, man. We this this these these entire cities and these great Places that are visited upon the earth were built off the backs of you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans. It was a, it was built off the Israelites' back, man. Okay, but they won't like they won't hold themselves accountable. Look, this is Zechariah chapter, and this will make this this is what make things worse. That's why when you bring up uh, reparations, they like man, forget all that. that, that y'all y'all looking backwards, y'all not looking forward. They y'all we 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 fought for this land. You hear all types of all types of things, man. That's why the Lord is going to do what the Lord is going to do. All right, and we not we not going to be able to come to no agreement, or we're going to come to you know some type of contract or a covenant. No, man, the Lord is about to put forth judgment. He's going to make you our slaves, man, according to the Bible. All right. So this is this is Zechariah chapter eleven verse five. It reads, you know what? Verse four. It reads, "Thus saith the Lord, My power feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, and they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. All right, and do not our possessors, our oppressors, hold themselves not guilty? All right." All the torturing, all the just uh, man, just all amounts of wickedness that were done to the Israelites, bump breaking, derby doses, all types of torturing factors that took place to break down our nation. All right, in, inside and out. All right, to break down the family households, to break down our mentality, to break down us physically. All right, but we didn't break, you know, truly. All right, because we also we always had the Lord with us. That's the thing about it. Now that we have the whole, now the Lord gave the Holy Spirit back to the prophets and the men of the Lord and the servants and, and put the truth back into the earth. Hey, people, people are now on edge. People are now bringing up the topic of reparations, hearing the, hearing the judgments. Now they're scared. Now they're, now they're scared. Now it's a threat. All right. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And who, who comes from the, from the, from the bloodline of Jacob? 12 tribes of Israel Jacob had 12 sons And that makes up You Negroes, Latinos And Native Americans That's why it's important To understand our heritage Understand The Our our, our Yeah our culture Our heritage According to the scriptures It says And will yet choose Israel And set them in their own land And the strangers Shall be joined with them And they shall cleave To the house of Jacob Verse 2 And the people shall take them And bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives. In other words, slaves who captives they were slaves because we, we were once slaves. You know, so what's going to be recompensed, what's going to be repaid to the Israelites will be slaves, not just a tax. 
That's the only just Well let me just read that again It says a tax on aristocrats And fat cats whose ancestors Profited from slavery would be the only Just solution No demon The only just solution will be slaves Will be servants Will be captives According to the scriptures According to the Lord Now do, now do you believe in the God of the Bible or not that's what it, that's what it boil, will boil down to. Now, that's not going to stop anything because it's still going to happen. All right. <laughs> it says, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. This is what's going to come to in fulfillment according to the kingdom of heaven. After the World War Three takes place, after the destruction, and all the plagues of the, that the Lord has ordained for this place, after they have taken place, what's up next? All right. After that, slavery for you heathen nations. All right, especially our top enemy of the so-called white nation being Edomites, Esau, Edom. All right, you come from Esau, we come from Jacob. All right, simple as that. And going on down to Revelations, uh, Slaki, Isaiah chapter fourteen, verse twenty-one. All right, also another classic scripture: Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. Now this scripture is, is is so evident and always has to be brought out because of the lack of the, of the lack of accountability that the so-called white nation and the, and, the, and those that are in league with the so-called white nation and the elites of this society like to like to deflect. They like to deflect the accountability and, and responsibility that and the and the benefits that they have, you know, uh, benefited or profited off of slavery. You know, because they, what's the main what's the main thing you hear? Well, I didn't do it. Me personally, I had I didn't do anything. Well, according to reincarnation, according to, and according to Bible prophecy and, and uh yeah, truly reincarnation, our spirit is brought back is brought back into the earth every three or four generations. So technically speaking, you did have us into, into slavery, but prepare slaughter. All right, prepare slaughter, man, because this is for reincarnation's sake, man. All right, and it's still taking place to this very day, just in a just in a different way. All right, less physical, but more mental, more financial. Okay, more uh, agriculture and attacking us through the water, attacking attacking us through uh, the systematic oppression, different forms of fashion. Now, all right, slavery hasn't gone anywhere. It just changed. It just evolved. That's all. It, that's why our people. That are lost, the lost sheep of the house of Israel thinks them the ones that are the most lost that think that this is not slavery right now. That's how you know they're got. Their mentality has been gotten by the society, has been gotten by America, and has ultimately been gotten by Esau Edom. But it's time to wake up wake up out of that slumber. Alright? It's time to wake up wake up out of that slumber, man. Alright. So I just also want to just grab uh, Jeremiah chapter 30 Because the point truly made With those scriptures of Revelation chapter 13 Isaiah chapter 14 uh, Zechariah chapter 11 Okay and look what, it, what is this chapter subject titled Deliverance from captivity promised Alright So hey this man This is this is the blessing of the gospel This, will, hey, this, is, this is where our, our hope lies man Okay We have fight within us Alright the Holy Spirit gives, gives us this fight all right, we're actually going to have slaves. We're actually going to reap benefits from our Lord, the one true power that rules over the planet Earth. Okay, it says deliverance from captivity promised. All right, the Israelites are are promised deliverance from these slaveries that are, that is taking place in today's society worldwide. No matter where you are in this world, you, we are promised deliverance. All right, especially those that sincerely believe in the Lord in these times right now. All right. That's why it's so important to repent and serve the Lord while we still have the opportunity to do so. All right. But according to the, the entire nation, all Israel will receive these benefits. OK, all Israel will will receive from these benefits after the judgments take place in these last days. But through reincarnation, all Israel will be saved. All right. According to the scriptures. So all is all the Israelites are going to have servants and slaves. OK. Now Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 16 <clears throat> It reads Therefore all they that devour thee Shall be devoured And all thine adversaries Our enemies That should show you that we have enemies for sure It says every one of them shall go into captivity And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey So the Lord is about to reverse all these things man The Israelites are about to reap 
the real this these are true reparations. True reparations will be service and slaves. That's the point. That's the point. For all these talks that keep going around vlogs and all types of articles and questions and interviews. True reparations will come by slavery, will come by servants. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. All right, thus saith Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and the Israelites and the prophets, man. Okay. This is all the Lord's will and this is all Bible prophecy. All right. That's that's and that's hey, that's all the people need to know. This is this is what you we are this is what's truly going to happen. This is not what we want to happen. We want it to happen now, but it's not this is not emotionally thinking. This is this is by this is this is prophecy. This is guaranteed to take place. All right. This will soon come to pass. All right. So Lord willing, the point was made straight to the point concerning true reparations according to the Bible and not just a in quotations, a fairer way to pay slavery reparations, a tax, a little amount of money. No, man, you can't man, that free labor that 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 these uh that these different nations uh profited off of, man, can no money equate to these things, man. All right. So the the damage has already been done. So but it's all up, it was all up to the Lord. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying and also encouraging to you sincere believers and you sincere listeners. All right. I went in all by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right, Shalom.